Okay, what we'll do here is set a position for the Y axis transmission rod. We have our separate motor temporarily mounted with clamps. Um, the M3 bolts are not tightened at this point, and notice we only use three bolts. We need to keep that fourth bolt in the corner off just because the carriage would collide with that. I would move the carriage back and try to show you. See, as I move that back, just allow the maximum amount of travel. Um, we'll keep that off. That allows the carriage to move all the way back. Um, you can put the bolt there if you don't mind your travel stopping, you know, maybe an inch short of its uh, potential. Okay, um, and notice the top bolts that are near the frame. We did leave a, a small gap so that those bolts aren't touching the frame. That's recommended just to make removal of the motor easier so that we don't have to take out the more permanent um, steel bolts that will be attaching the mount to the frame. So once you have that marked off, we're going to only we'll line up one side first and notice because this piece is usually two and three quarters of an inch as far as this plate. We had we cut it initially to three inches just to give a little margin for error. Um, so I do have some extra left over and you can see why I've made adjustments where I marked it um, to cut it down. Um, so at the line, at the edge of the frame, I will cut that down once I drill a couple holes to through the frame and through the mounting plate. We mount this side first get this lined up and then we'll match the other side here we'll match the other side up with that okay there it is that motor is now mounted and then we turn our attention to the other side where this connects okay this is how I end up doing it taking a triangle Clamp to the back of the frame to make sure that I'm at a nice right angle so I can measure the distance that this uh, transmission rod exists from the frame in the within the Y axis this way. And then the same same is done on this side where the triangle is clamped to the frame and that you can see the distance there. Yes, we are just the edge of it is just at two inches from the frame. And over here, the edge is just at two inches from the frame as well. So that's pretty close. Okay, real quick for those who might struggle with getting the height of the transmission rod equal on both sides, what you could do is take an object. This, in this case, I'm using a piece of scrap two by four. Um, I'm going to use the same edge to measure both sides. The important thing here is to use something that is equal. We already have our print bed in place. So what I've done is on the side that's secure, the motor side, which is over here, I put it here just so it just has a little bit of friction on the print bed. I don't want to bow the, the transmission rod. Let's put it there just to make sure that that's the height, the distance from this very flat print bed and also have the print bed secured so that it does not move. You know, so it's not going to move down because it's secured in place and I can use this as, use this piece of wood as a, basically a gauge. Have a little friction, kind of like when you're leveling your 3D printer bed for calibration purposes. Then on the other side, we'll do the same thing. It's also good to lock down the other side as well unless you don't put too much pressure and you should have the exact same amount of friction on this side and that'll let you know that you're pretty pretty level. See I don't have this locked so there is a small amount of, I'm not sure if you can even see it on camera it's a small amount of movement because it's not locked like the other side. 
So while this is at rest, I will lock this in and make sure that that's um, even. And that's that's just a little trick. Use something. It doesn't have to be a piece of scrap 2x4, but it should definitely be the same height that you this the object that you use should be consistent so you have consistent results on both sides of this rod okay measured up drilled and just like before we'll have to cut this down some take that quarter inch off it's not screwed in because we'll be taking that mounting plate off and that's it and now this transmission rod just even though it's, it works and that'll send power from this motor over to this side of the y-axis okay the non-motor side of our y-axis transmission rods installed As you can see I did a little optional machining to the piece just to dress it up the appearance a little Depending on the length of your stepper motor, as far as the um, the shaft, you may have to um, cut down your coupler. While this motor is pretty big, the shaft is not exactly that long, especially for this application. Um, it wasn't really designed to take the um, the timing pulley and a uh, rigid coupler. But it, it does work. What I'll end up doing to keep these screws from backing out is I'll probably end up putting a clamp over this end. Um, on the other printer, I never really found that these screws would back out. It was always this set of screws on, that were attached to the 8mm side of the coupler. But putting a clamp on that, that would definitely uh, keep that in place. On the other side, we'll end up putting a pulley inside here, lined up with this rod to carry the G2 um, timing belt. And then that'll also, with that pulley being locked down in place here, it'll keep this rod from sliding out in the event that this side loosens up enough that it works out. Um, so there'll be two points of protection, you know, for, for this rod to stay in place as far as the clamp over the coupler on this side and the timing pulley on this side. Okay, for the Y-axis transmission rod, we will need to get a timing pulley that is eight millimeter bore, unless you can find one that is five sixteenths or whatever size, you know, rod you use for the transmission. Um, this is a 5 16th rod, but 8 millimeter is close enough and works just fine for this purpose. Um, you'll need that to pull the belt on the non-motor side. A uh, little upgrade I made was this knob. Just to be able to turn this axis manually a little easier. In, in the unlikely event that maybe I lose a step while printing, I can just quickly, you know, make the correction right here and keep on trucking.